Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. The topic of today's video is going to be strong performing Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm going to show you today Middle Eastern scents that uh, in my experience have been given me 9, 10 and in some cases even over 10 hours of performance. So join me in this video today where I'm going to show you 11 beasts from the East. The first scent that I'm going to show you in today's video will come from the house of Artal Kaledj and it's called Sheikh Zayed Limited Edition. This fragrance is a clone of Dior Homme Intense with a slight fruity twist, let's call it that. You get pretty much the same, uh, you know, original scent, uh, you know, the uh, sweet powdery iris, the musk, the oots, uh, a bit of that sweet pure, but uh, to my nose, uh, Sheikh Zayed Limited Edition has a little bit more emphasis on that sweet pure note, uh, feels a little bit more fruity and a little bit fresher compared to the original Dior Homme Intense. But other than that, it's actually very, very close. Now, when you first spray this uh, fragrance uh, and you smell it for the first time, because of that uh, sort of un slightly fresher and a little bit more fruity nature of the scent profile, you may end up thinking that uh, this fragrance will not perform, but the reality is totally the opposite. This fragrance has been very, very strong and when it comes to performance and projection, it's pretty much a, a can be considered a rival to the original scent. It uh, has given me constantly over 10 hours of performance with very nice, uh, strong projection in the first two to two and a half hours. The next fragrance uh, featured in this video comes from the house of Al Haramein and their Amber Oud line and it's called Amber Oud Gold Edition. This fragrance is a clone of uh, Zerzhov's Herbal Pura, can also serve as a great alternative to a uh, Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi as well. You get that very same scent profile that's very fruity, very fresh uh, in the opening. Uh, the dry down, it gets uh, more woody, more musky. You get some vanilla. You still keep some of that, uh, you know, fruity sweetness uh, that you get in the opening of this fragrance. Uh, it's a little bit uh, leaning to the feminine side, but uh, I know a lot of uh, guys who actually like to wear, uh, you know, this type of scent profile, me including. Uh, great for warm weather and uh, has absolutely fantastic performance. It gives me about 10 hours of performance on skin with very nice projection in the first two to two and a half hours, especially after some maceration. Comes very nicely packaged. The bottle has very high quality. Uh, in fact, all members of the Amber Wood line uh, have absolutely fantastic quality when it comes to the bottle design, the presentation, you know, the scent profile, all that. The next scent that uh, I'm going to show you in this video comes from the house of Ahmed Al Maghribi and it's called Simply Leather. It comes in this uh, very cute looking 50 milliliter uh, bottle that has this uh, sort of a frosted uh, effect on the bottle itself. Uh, you get a sort of an wooden cap uh, that has some plastic on it. Uh, and the scent inside is an absolutely fantastic clone of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. You get that very same scent profile, you get a bit of a, you know, raspberry uh, fruity sweetness in the opening that's uh, accompanied by, you know, some spices uh, and you immediately feel the leather note in this fragrance. On the dry down, it becomes uh, pretty much all that. A bit of wood, some sweetness, some amber sweetness, and uh, a very, very strong and very high quality leather note. It's absolutely fantastically done. And uh, it, in fact, it's a uh, very interesting, very oily scent. I'm not sure, you know, uh, although the, it's supposedly an EDP concentration, but when I spray this on skin, it leaves a very oily spot uh, on my skin for a very long time. And I, I have... Uh, you know, some doubts that uh, this actually comes in a higher than EDP concentration. Maybe it's a perform concentration. For some reason, it's listed as EDP. But the performance here is absolutely fantastic uh, as well. It lasts over 10 hours, easily over 10 hours on skin. The projection is not very strong, but I think that's down to the fact that this has a very high uh, concentration of uh, oil inside it. But the total longevity on skin is absolutely fantastic. And all around, it has super, super nice quality. The next scent comes from the house of Sapil and it's called Bound for Men. Now, for those who don't know, Sapil is a sub-brand of Swiss Arabian and the Bound for Men is uh, actually a very, very nice and super inexpensive fragrance. This one is a clone of uh, 
Armani Cold Profumo and uh, I can't believe the quality of this fragrance especially considering the super low price tag. It comes in EDT concentration uh, for some reason which is a rare occasion when it comes to Middle Eastern fragrances but the performance here is also great. You get that uh, very same scent profile as with the original fragrance. You get that fruity slightly uh, you know fresh and uh, very sweet opening you know the vanilla with some fruits uh, a bit of a freshness and spiciness and the dry down is a mix of the vanilla and the suede leather in uh, like you get with the original fragrance fantastic performance especially considering that this is an edt uh, concentration fragrance and fantastic projection as well 10 hours of performance with over two hours of a very loud projection it's a very sexy fragrance and the best thing out of all is that it's super super cheap the next scent comes from the House of Armagh and their Club de Nuit line and it's called Untold. This fragrance is a clone of MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. It was released last year, it got a lot of hype and for a pretty good reason. It's a very very nicely done clone of a Baccarat Rouge 540 with great performance. You get that spicy, woody, sweet, uh, you know, candy-like sweet scent profile that you get with the original fragrance. The quality here is very good uh, and uh, the best thing out of all is the uh, actual performance of this fragrance. Easily 10 hours on skin with pretty loud projection. It's a very mass-pleasing type of scent uh, and in my opinion it's perfectly unisex and after a bit of the hype uh, died down you know after the initial release of this fragrance nowadays this can be found for a pretty reasonable price the next fragrance that i'm going to show you comes from a house called flavia which is uh, you can think of it as a so sort of a sister company to the house of armaf because both armaf and flavia are under the same um umbrella of sterling perfumes the, the brand is called flavia and the fragrance is called nuovo ombre this, uh, you know, you probably can tell by looking at the bottle design of this fragrance, what this is cloning. This is a clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre de Mat. And it's a pretty, pretty nicely done. Scent-wise, it's very, very close to the original fragrance. You get that very uh, heavy on the Middle Eastern style uh, type of a scent profile. You got a bit of raspberry in the opening. You got lots of leather, lots of incense. Uh, you got lots of oud as well in here with uh, a bit of amber sweetness on the dry down. Compared to the original scent, misses a bit of the uh, that raspberry, the strong raspberry note in the opening. But other than that, scent-wise, it's actually pretty close to the original scent. Th that type of scent profile has usually great performance. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that it has a strong rose note uh, as well in here. So that type of scent profile, you know, rose, wood, leather, incense. Uh, usually, you know, those those type of scents have great performance, and Novo Ombre makes no difference. This thing about 9 to 10 hours of performance on skin with very loud projection in the first hour and a half uh, up to two hours. The next scent that I'm going to show you uh, in this video again carries a very heavy uh, sort of a Middle Eastern vibe. It comes from the house of Zimaya which is a sub-brand of Afman and it's called Impulse Oud. This fragrance is a clone of uh, MFK's uh, Oud Satin Mood. It's pretty similar to the original scent, it has a bit of a twist, but uh, the scent in here is all about the mix of uh, sweet rose leather uh, note uh, mixed with uh, you know lots of oud. That's pretty much it. Uh, the original fragrance is pretty simplistic and linear when it comes to the scent profile and uh, impulse oud is pretty much the same. As I said, it has a bit of a twist. Uh, it lacks a bit of the ambery sweetness that uh, you get out of the original scent. This thing feels a little bit more, uh, slightly fresher, slightly more floral. The emphasis here is on the fresher side of the rose note, but other than that, it's quite close. And uh, as I said, it carries a very heavy Middle Eastern uh, vibe to it. Perfectly unisex again because of the scent profile and uh, you know rose and oud definitely uh, tend to be a very uh, potent combo and uh, impulse oud is you know pretty much the same thing. Uh, it gets it has very strong performance 9 to 10 hours uh, on skin with very very loud projection in the first two to two and a half hours. The previous fragrance that I showed you came from a sub brand of Afnan. The next two fragrances will be actually Afnan creations. The first one is called Tribute or some place uh, you can uh, see this one uh, marketed as Tribute Blue. All of the fragrances that I showed you up to this point were actual clones, uh, but uh, this and the other one that I'm going to show you from Afnan are not clone, clone fragrances, they're actually unique Afnan creations. Tribute Blue is a very, very unique scent. It's uh, pretty much hard to explain how this smells. Uh, it's uh, very spicy, 
kind of woody at the same time feels uh, quite fresh uh, and also has quite a lot of ambery sweetness in it as well as i said it's not a clone of anything although it feels pretty similar to bois imperial from essential performance i get very similar vibes out of this fragrance and uh, bois imperial performance wise uh, it's a super good performer 10 11 12 hours of performance with nice projection in the first two to two and a half hours a little bit more expensive uh, but uh, then again you get a very nice presentation and a very unique scent uh, and probably the best thing uh, about tribute blue is the fact that this fragrance is super super versatile and can be worn pretty much all year round and the second half known fragrance that I'm going to show in this video is uh, one of the newest fragrances that I've added to my collection and it's called Tobacco Rush. <laughs> it's a really really interesting uh, and uh, again very unique fragrance. First of all uh, one fact I really like about this fragrance is the super strong magnets that the cap has. Uh, I've uh, always liked the magnetic caps and this one is probably the strongest uh, magnetic cap that uh, I've encountered. Scent-wise, uh, this is a very interesting fragrance. Uh, some people call this uh, a clone of Mancera's Red Tobacco uh, and uh, unfortunately I cannot say the same. I don't think this is a clone of uh, Red Tobacco. It has kind of a vaguely, uh, you know, similarity to Red Tobacco, but uh, this is a lot more masculine and a lot less sweet. For me, this fragrance is all about the mix of uh, leather and tobacco with a strong oat note in here as well it has some spices uh, you know some other supporting players but the main combination here is uh, tobacco leather with a bit of oat and uh, also a bit of ambery sweetness it's very strong very masculine uh, and uh, i absolutely love this fragrance super strong when it comes to performance 10 11 hours so far in my testing very loud projection as well it's kind of dark, uh, but uh, a very sophisticated scent uh, and uh, as I said, I absolutely love it. I'm going to continue the tobacco theme with uh, my next suggestion. It comes from the House of Mason Alhambra and it's called Tabac. This fragrance is a clone of uh, Dior's private line Tabacular. It's a pretty nicely done clone that has a bit of a twist in my opinion or maybe Lat uh, you know, Latafa and uh, you know, the owners of uh, Mason Alhambra have missed the mark a little bit. Uh, the fragrance in here is uh, all about the mix of very strong tobacco note uh, with some honey and some fruity sweetness but compared to the original scent it lacks a little bit of that uh, you know, fruity sweetness that would uh, soften up and mellow down the scent profile a, a little bit. Tobacco feels like a slightly harsher, more masculine version of uh, tobacco with uh, a little bit less sweetness. You get some amber sweetness in here as well, but uh, to my nose, uh, this fragrance is mainly about the combination of honey and tobacco. The tobacco feels kind of uh, slightly rougher, slightly more masculine, as I said, uh, but performance wise, this is a very, very strong fragrance. It's not uh, super hard projecting, but the total longevity on skin is actually pretty impressive, uh, 10 hours and even more than 10 hours. And my last suggestion will again come from the House of Mason Alhambra and this one is called Cassius. This fragrance is a clone of Parfum de Marlis Carlyle and it's actually a very very nicely done clone of Carlyle. You get uh, pretty much the same uh, you know sweet boozy tobacco based fragrance that has uh, lots of vanilla, it has lots of earthiness from a patchouli note. Uh, you got some additional oods and spices. Uh, it's a very, very interesting scent profile that's very masculine, quite dark and sexy in my opinion. Scent-wise, it's pretty close to the original fragrance, especially after the first few minutes in the opening uh, of uh, this fragrance. On the dry down, it gets you very, very close to Carlisle from Parfums de Marley. Performance is very good, 9 to 10 hours of performance, very good projection. And again, the best thing out of all, like with most of the fragrances that I showed you in this video today, is the very low price tag. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you 11 beasts from the East. Or in other words, 11 strong performing fragrances that come from Middle Eastern fragrance houses. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.